Hi there and welcome back to Bevel Toyota. I'm Bronwyn and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up and initiate Android Auto in your Toyota vehicle. This feature is present in almost all 2020 and 2021 Toyota models. Let's get started. For reference, I'm sitting in a 2021 Toyota Corolla hatchback, but these instructions are going to be pretty much identical across all Toyota products. Before we connect our phone, we are going to make sure that the Android Auto is turned on and is active in the vehicle's head unit. Press Menu, then Setup, then find Projection Settings in the General menu and click that. This vehicle is equipped with both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so typically you would turn both of them on. After Android Auto is turned on, we can return back to the home menu. If this switch is not turned on, you will get notifications on your head unit once you've plugged your phone in, prompting you to enable the Android Auto feature. Now that we are set up on the head unit, you can locate your USB port. Some models have multiple of these. The USB ports that are labeled 2.1A are just for charging and will not work for Android Auto. The next important step is choosing your cord. This feature tends to work best if you are using an authentic Android cable. You can use a different cord as long as it is a data transfer cable with a USB end. Android Auto will not perform if the phone is connected with just a charging cord. For example, often dollar store or gas station cords are just for charging only. Before we plug the phone in, let's click on the menu. You are looking for this projection icon. That is your Android Auto. Once we've plugged in our phone and initiate Android Auto, this will change to say Android Auto automatically. Let's prepare our phone for Android Auto. Ensure your device is running at Android 6.0 or above. On most newer Androids, Android Auto will come pre-installed. On older devices, you must install the Android Auto app manually. Find the Google Play Store on your phone. Search for Android Auto in your search bar and look for this app. Once you have located this app, click on it and then click Install. Once installed, you can now press Open. This is the screen you should see on your phone. We are going to go through all the permissions before we can activate Android Auto. For time's sake, I am going to go through them quickly, but please take the time to read the agreements, and please note that Android Auto may not work effectively if some or all of the permissions are denied. Permissions will include calendar, messages, audio, contacts, etc. You can then press continue and you must turn on notification access to Android Auto. Press allow. Once you get to this purple and blue screen, which is the Android Auto app, it is time to plug your phone in. Once plugged in, your phone should start charging immediately. You may also see a prompt on your vehicle that looks like this. You should also see this on your phone screen. These are a few final permissions before you can access Android Auto on your Toyota head unit. Once you have acknowledged these notifications, you may notice that the icon that was once projection now says Android Auto. Click on this icon and your Google Maps will appear. The icon on the bottom left corner acts as a home button and allows you to view all the compatible apps from your phone projected onto your head unit. You can see Spotify, Calendar, Podcasts. The little bell icon pulls up your notifications from messages, Facebook, voicemails, etc. The microphone icon to the bottom right of the screen is your Google Assistant. You will have more access to text messages and maps by giving verbal instructions to your Google Assistant via Android Auto. At this point, your phone must be plugged in to operate Android Auto. Each time you plug in, the projection icon will change automatically to say Android Auto. Alternatively, once you're plugged in, you can also press the Map button to the left of your head unit, and that will pull up your Google Maps. 
And that is all for today's video on Android Auto. I hope you learned a little bit on how to set up and enjoy this feature on your Toyota. I'm Bronwyn from Belleville Toyota. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.